uh, around to see what's going on. Um, and uh, uh, we opened the gates uh, and people flooded in. And I go around the back near there were some woods. And uh, there's a kid standing there, all right, with the biggest set of wire cutters I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, like this big, all right? And he didn't hear me coming up because I was in this electric golf cart. Just, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right? And I pulled up next to him, and I got out of the, he got in and said, and I looked at him, he turned around and started him. I said, what the hell do you think you're doing? And he said, Look, you can't blame me for trying. I thought there'd be a fence, a wire fence. I put the fence up, you know, and I, and I'd get there. I said, "Good luck." Right? And I drove away and 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 walked out. So, what? Yeah. You should find a lot of people. Uh, uh, one of the uh, photographers whose whose uh, work is on the wall is Bob Leaf. Bob is here. Bob. As a house photographer, yeah, I have lots of stories. I'm like John in that regard. Um, but I'm going to spare you all of that. And if you can want to read about them, shameless plug, bobleaves.com. <laughs> I have a photo here for John that I don't think he's ever seen. He was actually on the stage when it happened, but his back was turned. And it's a pretty strange photo, and I'm going to present it to him. And I'm going to show you first. So, <laughs> my family's here, so my pants Good. are on. They, Good, sure they my get pants to see it first. <laughs> okay, this was at the, taken at the Clash show at the Capitol in 1980. And there were three opening acts. B-Girls, oh Mikey Dredd, and Lee Dorsey. And after Lee Dorsey, John came out to do his announcements, as he did at every show. Ooh, into the microphone, you know, all of that. <laughs> and as he was doing the announcements, some guy near the front row was heckling the shit out of him. And he was really loud. And John got annoyed. Do you remember what he said to him? Well, I, I've, I've gone through this a couple of times. I think I know what I said. Okay. <laughs> he said, why don't you come up here and make yes. an asshole of yourself? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the, you have the mic, you can have the, the spotlight. <laughs> The guy didn't say a word, and he came right up on the stage, and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I happened to be a photographer right there at that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> My wife will particularly like this. She's got a thing for... For a plumber butt. I'm sure you've got a, <laughs> I'm sure you've got a treasured spot on a wall. Yes, uh, absolutely. Pro probably in your bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Bob, Bob uh, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's one of the photographers, and uh, Bet Roberts is here. Bet, where are you? Yeah. Say hi. Yeah. Um, and, and a couple other, uh, a couple other people, and 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 uh, um, a guy who's passed away a couple years ago in Czech Poland. We're uh, we're always at the we're, we're at the Capitol either in a official or unofficial capacity, uh, and uh, you know just we're great young photographers. Um, you know their stuff is priceless. Uh, I hope they all make money on it. Um, they they we gave them you know real access. It wasn't like these days. You know you can you, you know you can shoot for two show two songs or three songs. You know they were there. You know cooking away, uh, you know, through the whole show. has got, you know, amazing stuff. If you go, I know Bob's uh, uh, website, you can see some absolutely amazing pictures from those days. And, uh, you know, they help, they, 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 they help, you know, keep the spirit alive, so to speak. So, uh, you know, thank you to all, all of you guys. And then some, some of our crew, although Tommy Katrina denies he ever took any pictures. Um, and Tommy's a very successful uh, fashion photographer now. But Chris Cook, um, you know, always had a, a camera around his neck and, and, and got some great pictures too. So, uh, um, you know, they're, they're around, you know, uh, to take a look at. Um, the Capitol had very distinctive programs, uh, some of which are on the walls here you can, you can check out. Uh, the person responsible for the programs is here, Moise. Would you like to stand up, Moise?
don't want to say anything? That's fine. You, you, okay, that's fine. Uh, Ken Viola is here. Ken Viola? <laughs> so, those of us that did the security was like a peer group, um, same age. Uh, we always had trouble with the cops. Uh, for sake, we had trouble with the cops until John hired one. Uh, Asbury, we had trouble with the police when we first came down. Um, a tremendous amount. Uh, in fact, they parked the jail on wheels outside of the casino, which, uh, for us, but uh, the Asbury Police, uh, the first big weekend we came down here, uh, we did uh, July 4th. Uh, the first show I think we did was King Crimson. Uh, but then July 4th, uh, we, we were here for the weekend, and John put us up at the Metropolitan, um, which shades of things to come later. But, uh, and uh, we uh, took over the hotel, and after the show, um, we came back with uh, all sorts, of, all sorts of girls, and went to the pool, which was behind the hotel, and everybody took their clothes off. We went in the pool and was floating beer in the water. I don't even know if you knew this. <laughs> it's too late to dock you. And, uh, and the Asbury police came in, and they were notorious at the time, and they came in and took one look and turned around and left. <laughs> Also, uh, when Black Sabbath played at, uh, at wow. Convention Hall, there was uh, the audience was lined up on the boardwalk, and they started to uh, riot. And um, the police were always outside the shows, and we were always inside. And um, <clears throat> we were standing there, and uh, they started to come to the garage door on the side of Convention Hall, and the police panicked, and they shot. Uh, pepper spray at the audience, but the wind came up and blew it on us. All, of, all the pepper spray went on us, and none of it went on the crowd. So, uh, like one for the so, so that sure. was that kind of thing uh, going on. But none of us would be here if it wasn't for John. Yeah. So. Thank you. The, 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 truth, the truth is that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. You know, uh, um, it, it, we, we did become a family. Um, you know, I guess I was the, you know, well, I wasn't necessarily the oldest, but, uh, you know, I was the big brother, I guess. Um, but they always had my back. Always had my back. The, the characters that existed in the 70s and the 80s in our business were, uh, you know, you, you tell the story, sometimes nobody will believe you. They think you're, you're, you're making it up. Um, the Asbury Park Police, um, until... Uh, and I can't remember what year, but Ozzy Osbourne, there's a whole episode with Ozzy Osbourne, which I'll tell real quickly. It's, you know, but uh, Ozzy Osbourne played it. But until around then, it was a very hostile situation with, with, with the police. Again, it, it was a generation gap, all right? You know, we're, you know, we're dirty hippies who, who took drugs, you know? Little did I know, I was a dirty hippie, but I didn't take drugs. Uh, and, and, and so, um, you know, it was a very adversarial position and, uh, our security staff, you know, they were the secret service. They covered my back, uh, and the two guys who ran it, Kenny had just spoke and Chris had spoke a little bit before, um, 
you know, these are, you know, I, you know, I always said these guys would take a bullet for me, you know, uh, and, and uh, you know, Tommy was the house manager, and there, you know, there, there are plenty of people here, but they, they, uh, um, the, the guys who ran those departments uh, enjoyed a relationship with the, most, most of the time uh, with the people who worked for them, security guys, front office guys, uh, you know, front door guys, ushers. Um, and uh, it was uh, all for one and one for all. Uh, and uh, uh, the one time, good story to tell, uh, it's told uh, um, about 180 degrees differently from uh, um, Sharon Osborne, Ozzy's uh, wife. But um, we do, we, we're doing a, an Ozzy show uh, at, uh, at Convention Hall. One of the things about Convention Hall nobody mentioned is the, you know, the, the chef, Cy, and, and all the people, James, and, and people who, 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 who followed... Good steak. What? Good steak. Good steak. Uh, and and uh, back on the veranda behind Convention Hall, we always had a barbecue and a picnic going on. Um, you know, and some of the local musicians, including Bruce, you know, sometimes would show up at a show that you said, what are you doing here? You know, it's Black Oak, Arkansas. Why, why would you be here? And, you know, they wanted they wanted to have dinner. Uh, uh, so so about six months or eight months before the Ozzy show at Convention Hall, uh, they uh, Ozzy was playing out at uh, Stable Arena in uh, Eastern Pennsylvania, where Lehigh University is. And uh, he wasn't a real big star at that time. He was selling, you know, two three thousand tickets. Anyway, they 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 were short of money. They, they, they desperately needed, needed to, to borrow about 15, I think it was about $15,000. Um, so uh, Sharon Osborne called me and her agent at the time called me and said, uh, look, could you loan them $15,000 to pay you back the next time they play for you? So, you know, I didn't have a lot of responsibilities in those days. Uh, and uh, so we lent them the $15,000. Uh, so now it's six months later and they come back and they play at Convention Hall and he had started to pop a little bit. Uh, and we had a sold out house. And we had the barbecue going on the, uh, in, in the very end. And I sat and I, I you know, I, I had dinner with uh, Sharon and Sharon's father, who was a notorious uh, thug, um, you know, from, from, from England. You know, many people believed whatever they called the mafia in, uh, in England that, that, that he was there. and. Uh, and a brother of his who, you know, was also a horse's ass. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but we had this very, you know, I had a nice relationship with him, and we, we, you know, we had this very nice, you know, sit bullshitting and, and, and having dinner. And uh, um, so the show goes on, the opening acts wherever there were, uh, and, uh, and uh, Ozzy goes on, uh, and the uh, um, woman who worked for me, um, went to settle the show with their, uh, their tour accountant. And uh, she deducted the $15,000 that we had lent them. So the tour, the tour accountant said, I don't know anything about this. Well, what are you talking about? So she pulls out a letter, you know, signed by Sharon, um, you know, saying the next time we play for you, you know, we'll pay you back. this $15,000, no interest, no nothing, just you know, that's what it was. So he says, uh, he says to the person from my office that's, uh, uh, settling. Well, let me go talk to Sharon. I'm sure this will be okay because that's her signature. So he goes back and tells Sharon. And I don't know how many of you, you know, know of Sharon's reputation, <laughs> but um, and and not to be chauvinistic at all. I promise you. But Sharon was a fat, ugly pig. At that and now Sharon, since as we've seen her on TV, has had you know a million dollars worth of plastic surgery, you know, lost weight, which is probably the main thing she had to do anyway. Um, but at the time, she was brought up by bully. Yeah. She, you know, and and, and 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 she was a bully, and she came and got me. And she said, you know, what, and cursing like, like, like a sailor, you know, you know, what the hell, what the fuck, what are, you, what are you doing, you know? I said, Sharon, here's the letter, look at it, you signed it, all right? I'm not that rich that I can just, you know, give you $15,000. So she said to me, you know, 
This is bullshit. I meant the next time that we played for you. <laughs> Which, of course, there was no next. schedule next time. It could have been a year. It could have been five years. It could have, it could have been whatever. So she's screaming in absolute temper tantrum, just going crazier. Her father walks over to me and says to me, do you know my mafioso connections? And I said, yeah, but are they worth $15,000? Uh, and, and, and so uh, he storms off. All right. Sharon then runs up to me and says, uh, I'm going to uh, pull Ozzy off the stage. He was right in the middle of the show. You know, so you'll have a, a riot on your hands. And I said to Sharon, Sharon, you can pull Ozzy off the stage. I'll walk on stage and explain to the audience exactly why you did. But your, but your equipment's never leaving this building. Right. So she goes even crazier. Right. <laughs> Kenny, for sure, I'm not sure whether Chris or not, they see this going down. All right? And so Sharon uh, goes and gets some of her roadies and stuff. And there's going to be a, a, a fight there. Except for the fight never happened because Sharon kicked me right in the nuts and laid me out. All right? Uh, and. and and, and, and when I when I call, when I picked myself up and called myself up, I turned around, and Kenny and Chris and the whole crew were sitting there, and about 15 or 20 Asbury Park police who suddenly loved us, all right, were there. And she looked around, you know, and she, off in a huff, Ozzy finished his set, everything went well fine. But like I said, the crew had my back, all right? I wish I had my back about... 10 seconds yeah. sooner. <laughs> uh, uh, right. right. But, uh, uh, oh, you know, it was, it was a great moment, you know, and, uh, you know, that was one of the things that sort of bonded the crew uh, with, the, with the cops, because the cops, first of all, we paid the cops. It wasn't like they were there assigned for free. Uh, and, you know, we were doing a lot of shows, uh, and, and, and Kenny and Chris and and, and Tommy and the, the other people, you know, made enough friends with, with them. And, you know, we gave their kids tickets to, the, you know, to come to the shows and stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, the extended family even extended a little bit more. <laughs>